She's roughly four months pregnant now, and behind those clasped hands, there's certainly evidence of a rather more rounded stomach than before. The pregnancy sickness of early December has passed, yet Catherine is still taking things carefully. Last week, she and William were on holiday in Mustique. Today, she was fulfilling her first public engagement for some weeks, visiting a centre in South London which helps women recover from drug and alcohol dependency. But despite the Duchess's low profile recently, she's become the focus of unflattering comments by the prize-winning author Hilary Mantel. During a lecture at the British Museum, Miss Mantel described the transition of Kate Middleton into a royal duchess. Kate Middleton, as she was, appeared to have been designed by a committee and built by craftsmen with a perfect plastic smile and the spindles of her limbs hand-turned and gloss-varnished. Ms Mantel said the person who'd emerged from the transition seemed machine-like and without the risk, as she put it, of the emergence of character. St James's Palace declined to comment, but the Prime Minister, on his visit to India, dismissed Miss Mantel's remarks. Well, I think she writes great books, but I think what she said about Kate Middleton is completely misguided, completely wrong. What I've seen of Princess Kate on public events and at the Olympics and elsewhere is this is someone who's bright, who's engaging, who's a fantastic ambassador for Britain, and we should be proud of that rather than these rather misguided remarks. But the Duchess shouldn't feel offended, according to one historian, who believes Miss Mantel's comments have been misunderstood. She was very sympathetic to Kate. She said she's a perfect bride, she's a perfect mother. She said how hard it is to be royal in a gilded cage. So it's a much more complex article than, than it's been given credit for, and it's not intended to be a venomous attack. Hilary Mantel's lecture was a thoughtful, at times vivid, examination of what it's like to be royal. However, her choice of language in relation to the Duchess of Cambridge can scarcely be described as gentle. The Duchess, of course, will just have to get used to it if she hasn't already. That, after all, is part of being royal. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News.